Yo, what is good guys, back with more smoke on Snake Drift, this time Solwyn vs Lopani Kicks, looking at the teams, we got a Mega Alakazam squad on Solwyn's side, uh, really weak to opposing Alakazam, so I could see him having T-Wave on either the Clef or the Ferrothorn to help deal with opposing Alakazam, he's also really weak to Kartana, so T-Wave on Clef or Ferro also helps versus that. Um, if he doesn't have T-Wave on those two, then he has to be Scarf, HP, Fire, Lando to check opposing Kartana and maybe Payapa Berry Pex to help versus opposing Zam, like Payapa Berry Toxic Pex. Zemo is most likely on the Heatran, Spikes on Pharaoh. Um, the Clef could be either Rocks, T-Wave, or um, I guess it could be Common T-Wave and then Rocks on the Heatran. Scarf Landers with U-Turn, Earthquake, uh, Devog, last move is either HP, Fire, HP, Ice, or Stone Edge, but he's not that weak to Tornadus. So it doesn't have to be Stone Edge on this team, but it still could be Stone Edge. On Lopani Kick's side, the Scarva is either the um, Tapu Lele or the Kartana. Landris is a bulky variant, it's the only rocker, and otherwise he's really weak to Zygarde, so I assume it's just defensive land though. Um, most likely a Solvus Megina to help versus opposing Lele and Zam and um, versus Greninja. Then Rotom Defog support checks Heatran. Yeah, Defog support for Zard, like I just said. Zard is most likely X on this team, since I assume he only has Defog on the Rotom. Though we could also have Defog on the card, um, but he also doesn't have Pursuit support, so for now we're gonna just assume it's ZX. So I'm gonna just U-turns out turn 1, which means he either doesn't want his own landers to get weakened, or he just doesn't have HP Ice. Um, I assume he just doesn't have HP Ice, he might be Stone Edge or HP Fire on the last slot. So now we're gonna see either the Clef or the Pex come out most likely. Um, probably the Pex, because if he goes um, into Clef or Ferrothorn, um, and Lopani Kick goes for U-turn here, then the Zard could come out and be a huge problem for Solvent if it's Zard X. If it's Zard Y, then the Pex walls it. But um, Zard X just makes a bit more sense, so we're gonna assume it's Zard X for now. Not sure what item uh, Lopani Kick's Landers is, he did not show um, Helmet. We're gonna have to wait for the end of the turn to see potentially if he's leftovers. If he's not leftovers, he could be Yachi, he could be Ayapapa, um, something like that. So he just U-turns, so we won't find out what item his Landris is. Um, so he brings out a Tapu Lele, and um, Solvent reveals Black Sludge on his packs, which means he's not the Payapa set that he could have potentially been. So now either the Ferrothorn or the Heatron is gonna come out. Um, so let's see if Lopani Kicks just wants to weaken those with Psychic, or if he has a coverage move like Focus Blast or All Out Pummeling, or if he pulls a double into Zard. I think double into Zard is also a good play if he's Zard X, because it covers the Ferrothorn and the Heatran. Um, because it will most likely have Earthquake to threaten out the Heatran, uh, Solon would obviously have to scout for that, and obviously Ferrothorn would have to be would have be scared out as well. So um, if he doubles into the Heat, um, the Zard here, then he would be for Solon would be forced to pivot back into Pex. But no, instead he goes for Focus Blast and misses, which sucks for a low penalty kicks. Um, so he didn't go for all out pummeling, so he's probably either Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. So he goes into Zard, so when doubles out in the Landers, which is a good play. Um, just because that covered the Lily staying in and going for Focus Blast again, it also covered the Zard, and now Lopani Kick switches out because he scouts for Scarf Edge, which is a good play. So it knows that he's gonna switch out and goes for U turn and grabs momentum. So he goes in the Ferris Zone, um, he's probably just gonna get up a spike here. Lopani Kicks can either go for his Rocks or he can go into his Kartana. And um, yeah, he gets up his Rocks. I would probably just hard switch into Kartana here because um, I wouldn't wanna take Iron Barbs on Landris if. Because like the little bit chip damage on Ferrothorn, I don't think it's worth it. Unless Eugen brings it in guaranteed range from Lily Focus Blast, but I'm pretty sure the Lily would have to be specs for that to bring it in range, and even then it might still not be in range, right? Because I think Specs Focus Blast only does like 70 to 80 to Ferro. He got a crit there, um, so he goes for a knockoff as Kartana comes out, and we see that it's Z move Kartana because he has no item. So that means the Lily is probably Scarf, right? And Solvent actually does not have a good switch in here. Uh, if he has T-Wave, he might just click it with the Ferrothorn, predicting Lopani Kicks to go for SD. Um, otherwise, he's just gonna have to pivot into Landris. As he does pivot into Landris, do we see a SD or do we see uh, we see a Hard Leaf Blade? Okay, Hard Leaf Blade is also a respectable play because if the Landris has Scarf HP Fire, but Lopani Kicks doesn't scout for Scarf HP Fire. I thought he went for Hard Leaf Blade in case because if he SDs and then Landris comes out and then it has HP Fire, then his Kartana just dies in one and he gets nothing out of the turn. Um, so I thought he Leaf Blade to get some damage off and then scout for HP Fire, but no, he didn't scout. Um, I guess Hard Leaf Blade might also have been predicting the Toxa Pax. Uh, just, he predicted either the Pax or the land to come out. Or maybe he predicted Solvent to go hard into Alakazam, predicting low Panic Kicks to go for SD. Maybe that's why he Hard Leaf Blade it, I'm not sure. But yeah, what does Solvent even do now? Um, I assume we're gonna see... 
Mm, either a Leaf Blade again or a SD from Low Punny Kicks. SD is a bit more likely to come out here. Mm -mm -mm. So what? I guess if he fist death packs, he can go to that. But like, no. Hmm. That doesn't even beat the Kartana because if Kartana goes for SD here, then Zemo will bop the packs. So like, you kind of just have to throw in something that you don't need that much in this game. Like he does not have a safe switch in the biz. Um, might just be the Clefable, honestly, because Pax is really important for that Zard, especially, yeah, like, no matter what Zard it is, Pax is pretty important for that. Uh, Ferrothorn, uh, Ferrothorn is not super valuable, but it's still cool to have, um, versus little Psychic Spam and versus, uh, Rotom. Yeah, I think he's either gonna go Clef or Pharaoh. if he's a Savage, um, Blunder says in the chat, go to Alakazam predicting the SD, right? But he goes in the cleft, which is a safe play. And so Blowpoint Kicks goes for SD. I mean, yeah, that would have been really wild going hard Alakazam predicting the SD. But I get that he didn't want to risk it. And um, yeah, this Katana probably just gets a kill now because it's a plus one. Um, what Z move is this Katana? Is it just. Grassium. It's probably some Z move that helps Zard break mons that card like mons that wall Zard, but like there's nothing that really walls Zard. Because most landers these days are more so offensive. Or, or bulky scarf, which like Zardex or Zard Y both are not walled by those. Um What does Kartana break that Zard can't break? I'm not really sure honestly. <laughs> But yeah, um, he's either gonna have to sack. What does he sack here? Land or Clef? He goes back into Landris and yeah, he's just gonna die to what is most likely a Z move. Let's see if it's Grassium. It's Brank Knight Blitz and gets a crit. Obviously, crit didn't matter. Now, Alakazam can come out and scare out the Kartana. <clears throat> so he wasn't Scarf HP Fire Lando. So Owen would have gone for it if he was HP Fire. So he was probably Scar um, Stone Edge in the last slot. So he just goes in the beginner, which is a safe play. Since the Landers is dead, now Low Penny Kicks can just click Volt Switch. If Solon switches out, he grabs momentum. If Solon stays in, um, Focus Blast is the best Solon can do to the Magina, which shouldn't do too much, uh, maybe like 20%, maybe a little bit less even. Um, so Volt Switch seems fri fine here for Low Penny Kicks. Um, yeah, I think Focus Blast is actually the play to make for Solon, because if you switch out, you just completely lose momentum. And... Yeah, like if you switch out, you would have to go into packs, which would let Lele in. Because if you go to the other month, you would let the Zard in. But yeah, he just vaults, and now um, he can go into his Tapu Lele, which is most likely Choice Scarf since Katana was the Z move user. Mm -mm -mm. Could also go to his Charizard potentially, but I assume that the. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess Landris might also be able to live a hit. But I'm not sure. Well, the thing is, Scarf Lele doesn't do much to the Alakazam. Let me run a cult real quick. Um, Moonblast does 59 to 70 to Alakazam. And um, Shadow Ball does 69 to 81 back to the Lele. And with a spike up. Um, I don't remember if the Lele is still at full. I think it's still at full. But the Lele would be pretty much dead after a spike and a Shadow Ball. And Moonblast does not kill it from this range, so I guess he doesn't want to go to Lily then. Okay, he goes Lando. Um, can Lando live a Psychic? It probably can. Let me run a Kalk. Uh, so the only way the Sovin can kill us is probably if he has HPI. Psychic does 58 to 68. Um, so Sovin is either going to have to switch out, or if he has HPI, he can go for it as he pulls out HPI. <laughs> okay, dude. Um, that makes some sense because he was not HP Ice on the Landris most likely. He was either Stone Edge or HP Fire, probably Stone Edge on the Scarf Landris. And he's kind of weak to Zygarde outside of Clefable. So I get why he has that. Um, but yeah, Low Pony Kicks goes back into Magiena to now just Volt Switch because, again, because if the Alakazam stays in this time... Well, no, if the Alakazam had recovered that, I could have been bad for Pony actually. <laughs> But yeah, Zard comes out, and someone is just gonna go Pex to scout. Um, if it's Zardex, we're gonna most likely see an Earthquake or a Dragon Dance. We see an Earthquake. Well, it could also be. It's either Roost three attacks or it's Roost DD Earthquake Flabbits. Hard Flabbits is there because 
Um, I think the Pax was an earthquake range after rocks and earthquake, so good play. Now, the pivot back into Pax is really obvious, so it does low panic kicks, predict that and go for earthquake. No, he just blitzes, which means earthquake is a roll to kill here. Um, does he just earthquake for the roll? No, he roosts. Um, what are the reasons to roost there? I guess he didn't want to earthquake, and I think earthquake would have been fine. He probably didn't want to kill the packs and then be in range from Alakazam's Psychic because his Megina is also pretty low, so he's kind of um, getting weaker to Alakazam. But yeah, he's just going to vault out here. Someone is going to softball up to get the Clefable back healthy. Zard comes out, and uh, I think the pivot into packs again is really obvious. So does he earthquake predicting that? Let's see. No, he levels this again. Like, I don't know. Like, he's not going to sack the Clef there. Pretty obvious to me. So he could have earthquake on the switch, but it's fine. Recall wasn't really much. Uh, this Pex has some sort of fist death investment, and he reveals Dragon Claw, so he's um, three attack Zard, but most likely Roost. I mean, he already revealed Roost, right? Yeah, he already revealed it. Um, but yes, Pex has some fist death investment. Otherwise, Earthquake would do like 10% more, I would assume. It's not max defense, but it definitely has some sort of defense. So he's just spamming Earthquake here, and like Sovan can't really do much about this. Um, he's toxic spikes like if he was toxic he could have at least toxic this yeah yeah if he had toxic he would have been fine honestly i just said he couldn't do much but if he has toxic he would have been fine but he already revealed toxic spikes earlier i think right and the rotom i think the rotom defogged them away earlier if i'm not mistaken so he pivots um does lopen kicks he again does not predict the always pivot back into pegs oh yeah he already had revealed earlier that he had toxic spikes i'm pretty sure um so i don't like that he's toxic spikes on this team um i think toxic is way better in on this specific team um unless he has both but i'm pretty sure the last move is haste the way this has been played um the rotom cannot keep the toxic spikes off because toxic spikes have more pp than defog and so eventually he's just gonna be forced to volt switch out exactly so what does he go back to zardo lele go still top of lele um and now he's just gonna Psychic or Focus Blast, Psychics into the Ferrothorn, gets a crit there, but it's still not in range, obviously. He would have to get another crit high roll, which is not happening. So Lopunikix is gonna switch out here, most likely into Kartana. Uh, so when can pull a double into Alakazam, he predicting that, I think, that's a good play. Um, Kartana's like pretty obvious, right? Um, so yeah, if I'm throwing that, definitely I either Spike or I double into Alakazam, yeah, I think you have to make some sort of aggress- like, you don't have to, you don't have to, but like, doubling into Zam here puts you in a good position, because the Megina is already chipped, I don't remember how healthy the Megina is, but I think it's at 40-ish, yeah, so like, you double Zam here, um, even if he stays in for some reason, which he shouldn't, Zam lives a Psychic, but he shouldn't stay in here, um, because he knows Psychic does like 20 without a crit, Right? Yeah, I think like 20. So Katana's just to play here as it can eat power, but blocks Leech Seed. Worst that could happen if this Ferrothorn. Did it already reveal the entire moveset of Ferrothorn? I don't remember. I did not reveal the entire moveset. What's the last move? Oh, yeah, it's probably just Leech Seed Spikes, knock off Power Whip. Yeah, so like, Clef has to be T Wave then, otherwise, how is Soen beating an Alakazam? So does he double? No. He just power whips. I'm um, not a big fan of that play. Because uh, that was like the most obvious Kartana I have ever seen. Uh, so now Lopani kicks. Does he just hard attack or does he SD? I mean, SD is a bit more likely. Someone doesn't really have a play here. Uh, hard into Zam would have been heat on the SD, but like again, that's just so risky. Uh, because that's his only way to revenge the Kartana. Um, Lopunny kicks SD'd up, which there was not really a big point in SD'ing, in my opinion, because after you kill the Ferrothon, you forced out by the Alakazam anyway. So, um, Sovan is free to click Psychic here, as it obviously kills Kartana from this range. Like, Kartana is piss pushed with death. Um, so yeah, he just sacks this, and... Oh, Alakazam gets a beast boost! <laughs> Does this just win? <laughs> Let me calc Alakazam. Um, so Rotom comes out. Let me call Alakazam versus Rotom. Oh, it lived! What? So it gets a Volt switch off. And now it's in range from Scarf Tapu Lele as Lele takes a spike and some toxic spikes chip. No, no, it doesn't take toxic sp Yeah, it does, it does. So now Psychic should kill from Tapu Lele from this range. Um, but the Rotom had to have some sort of Spadef investment. It would have taken 86 to 101 if it was just, um, max Fizz Def Rotom, but no Spadef. Uh, with some speed and no Spadef, I mean. 
Psyche would have an 86 to 103, so they definitely had some spadef on the world to help check Heatran better. Um, but yeah, Lele can probably kill the Heat, the Zam, but Psychic here. And I think Solon might have to sack off the Clefable, as Clefable seems to be like not that great in this match. Like he has to sack something, and it, the Pex helps with the Zard. Like the Pex is just good in this match, there's no point in sacking it. I think you sack the Clef. Um, but yeah, let me run the call to confirm if Moonblast kills, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, Psychic, I mean, Psychic, I mean. Psychic does 42 to 50 from Lilith to Alakazam. Moonblast obviously would kill, but there's no reason to click Moonblast if Psychic kills, because Psychic hits the Heatran um, and the Pex. Moonblast would do nothing to those two, so Psychic is always the player for low money kicks. So when uh, once the Zam around, as it's the only one that, like, for speed control, that outspeeds the Zard, he goes Pex, which I don't agree with. I think he should have sacked the Clefable there, or um, if Heatran is healthy and can switch and then he could have also gone Heatran. How healthy is Heatran? It's at 68, I think. Um, yeah, I don't like that play at all. You either sack the Clef or maybe you go Heatran, but I don't think you ever sack the Pex there. Um, like, that was weird. So yeah, now he goes into Heatran obviously afterwards, which... Um, how much would he Heatran have taken from Spec Psyche, uh, from Scarf Psyche? Do we already know that? Assuming Heatran has no bulk, um, Psyche would have done 27 to 32. So yeah, you either go Heatran there, which can lift two Psychics, or you sack the Clef. Because um, Clef doesn't do that much, and Pex was like way more important in my opinion. So not sure why he did that, but yeah, what's the thing? How healthy is the Clef? Clef's at 82. So yeah, now he goes in Heatran, obviously, as I just showed you guys the Kalk, 27 to 32 from Psychic. Um, so Low Panic Kicks is going to have to switch out into most likely Rotom here. Um, wait, how healthy is the Rotom? If the Rotom is too low, then he can't switch hard into it. Yeah, he might also just sack the Magina if the Rotom is too low. Rotom is at 29, so yeah. I think he's just going to sack the Magina. And then afterwards, he can go into... Most likely the Zard, because I think the Rodon doesn't have speed investment to outspeed max speed Heatran, because it lifts a plus one Psychic quite well, so it's some sort of Spadef Rodon. So yeah, I think you sack the Magina, and then afterwards you have to go into Zard to scare out the Heatran, right? And you should still be in a fine position, because Sovan should not have sacked this Pex, um, which I think that's gonna cost him. Uh, but yeah, Lopin Kicks is obviously going to switch out here. Most likely going to sack off the Magina, which is super low after Spike. I think it's at 30%, something like that. Maybe a little bit more. And um, the Sowent... I think Sowent can potentially just click off power here, which does not let the, the Zard in for free. And it also should kill the Magina, or if it doesn't kill it, it would kills the Magina. And even if Rotom comes out on the Earth Power, I think he can still kill it the next turn. But um, assuming he's Fire Z Heatran, he can still kill the Rotom the next turn. He doesn't have to go for the Hard Z move here. I think he's free to click Earth Power this turn. Um, knowing that like, he can save the Z move. But it doesn't matter too much. He can also Hard Z, I guess. But I assume Earth Power is a fine play. I think Earth Power is the fine play. But yeah, Magina gets sacked off and he does go for Z. Okay, I don't know if I would have done that, but it doesn't really matter too much. Though now uh, Zard comes out to threaten out the Heatran, and now Sowan is in a tough position. Because if Earthquake 2 hit KOs the Clefable at the moment, or oh, let's. Hmm. Earthquake doesn't 2 hit KO the Clef, the Clef is at 82. Let me run a Kalk on the side, so Heatran. Not Heatran. Charizard versus. I uh, assuming Zard is gonna come out here because the Rotom. Well, the Rotom can probably maybe live a Magma Storm because it's Spit Death. But the Rotom is definitely slower than the Heatran. But the Zard is already... Is the Zard already poisoned? Because if the Zard is already poisoned... Um, then... Um, oh, it wasn't poisoned yet. So there was, there was potentially the option to go Rotom and Fork first. But yeah, now he wants the Rotom as a Fort here. He wants the Rotom as a Death Fort for the Alakazam when the Alakazam comes in after Sowen sacks. So I think Sowen has to now sack the Clefable, and Sowen needs some hacks at this point to win this, otherwise he cannot win. Um, I still have to run some Kalks though. So I think he is 100% forced to go into Clefable here, because if he stays in with the Heatran on the Earthquake, he straight up loses the game. 
Um, but yeah, let me run a calc. So, um, Zard Earthquake does 24 to 28 to Clef, which means Earthquake brings Clef in range of Flare Blitz. So, Solon is either gonna um, go Clef on the Earthquake and then then he uh, either has to sack the um, Clefable, um, go into Alakazam afterwards, and then he needs some hacks to win the game. Um, I think he would then have to, because the Rotom, not the Rotom, is the Alakazam in range of the, um, is the Alakazam in range of Lily? It is, right? So yeah, he needs to somehow get a recover of with Alakazam, but that's not happening. <laughs> um, yeah. So he has to go Clef here. Let's say he goes Clef on Earthquake, then Slow Panic kicks Flabbitus and kills the Clef. And then afterwards, Solwyn goes into Alakazam, goes for Psychic, as then um, Low Pony Kicks would have to um, pick to Psychic. He would probably pick the Rotom as fodder. Then the Lily come, would come out after. And then Lily would click Psychic. Assuming, yeah, it kills them, right? It does. Which um, Heatran can still take two Psychics at the range it's at. So that means then he clicks Magma Storm. Like, then he still has a chance, I think. But if he stays, then he straight up loses. If he goes Cleffy, he still has some hopes. I'm not 100% sure how this endgame would play out, though. Um, but yeah, Open Kicks always clicks off quickly because it brings Clef in range of um, Flabbits afterwards. And just in case Sowen stays in, you cannot afford to flare, but see if you punny, it's just not the play, I don't think so. Um, but Sowen is thinking so hard about this, though he, he only has one play, which is going clef, and then he needs some hacks to win the endgame, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think he already missed by throwing the packs out, though. Um, oh yeah, I guess, um, oh, he just sex the trend. Yeah, he loses now. Why? Uh, because the Clefable, if it's Calmind, it's not getting a Calmind up on it. Because now, yeah, Zam comes out, yeah. So now Low Pony Kicks just sacks the, um, yeah, I think he stays in, yeah. The Low Pony Kicks stays in and just Flabbitzes. Because he cannot allow Sovent to recover, that would be a choke. So Sovent, I guess, has to play for the choke at this point. Um, yeah, Lopani Kicks just stays in and wins the game, guaranteed. So he stays in. He clicks Flare Blitz. Um, if Alakazam Psychics, then Zard dies, and then Lopani Kicks goes out into the Lele. Um, yeah. So you just always click Flabbits here, and then that should guarantee Lopani Kicks the win. Because it keeps the Alakazam at 40% if it Psychics and kills you. If Alakazam recovers, it dies to Flabbits. But like I said, if it Psychics, it stays at 40%, so it's in range from Psychic from the Lele. So if then the Lele comes out, Psychic would kill the Zam. Psychic also does a lot to the Clef. Uh, how healthy is the Clef again? I keep forgetting. So yeah, Sowen recovers playing for the choke and Lopani Kicks just flabbles this. Um, at that point he had to hope for Lopani Kicks misplaying and recover, but Sowen had other ways of winning this. He played like weird earlier on. Um, like I said, not throwing packs out and what's it called? Yeah, second Heatran versus the Zard was also pretty much a guaranteed loss. I think he had to go Clef. Uh, so he has to softball here, obviously, breaking the flare bits. That way he can live a psychic. But psychic from uh, Lily should do at least 65 to this clef. Um, so he cannot really softball this off, which means he's forced to go for Moonblast. And then um, Moonblast kills the Lily with the poison, obviously. And now Rotom can come out and click Volt Switch and Low Panic Kicks wins the game. Uh, guaranteed, because at 10%, I'm pretty sure, even if this class has some Spadef, which it doesn't, we already know that from the cards. Uh, Volt Switch would definitely kill anyway. I think he might have had an out, potentially by dodging a Hydro Pump. Uh, if he kept. 
if he kept his um, Heatran around and sacked the Clef instead, he still might have had an out by dodging a pump. But yeah, not the biggest fan of the... I don't know, it was a weird endgame. But yeah, if you guys like are the gods and know exactly every turn for the endgame, what could he have done, how would it have played out, let me know in the description. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Low Pony Kicks picks up the win. My man Dennis is going to be happy right now because he knows Pony a bit and... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Not going to get into more detail. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content. And peace out, friends.